cognitive science has taken a look at how people learn, how people study, and how people can use very specific techniques to learn faster. The results are surprising and even better, they're super helpful when people like us, guitar players, use them applied to learning the guitar. So let's explore five learning and practice hacks that'll help you learn guitar faster on this episode of the Guitar Blog Insider. Well, by now, I'm sure you've heard of the dozens of studies that prove how learning music is incredibly beneficial at enhancing areas of the brain and at improving the mind's ability to critically think through more complex tasks. And it's also been proven that even though some people keep studying guitar and thinking through their musical training, most people are unfortunately doing it in the same ways all their lives without ever learning new systems for improving their study time and learning methods. Now, if those areas of their learning system are not improved, they won't learn any better or any faster. So let's begin breaking down a collection of techniques for how to learn guitar faster. If you followed my YouTube lessons, or if you're a member of the Creative Guitar Studio website uh, studying the courses, you already know that I've made it a big part of my lessons to cover the concept of studying smaller, more scaled down material. It makes sense to everyone because learning smaller chords, let's say, is easier. Learning a smaller piece of a scale makes more sense, it's more manageable. And how to strum, let's say, one basic simplified rhythm pattern is going to be easier than learning a more complex rhythm. It just makes sense to chunk information down into more manageable parts. And once the smaller pieces are there, you can learn how to put those chords and scales and arpeggios and all that stuff together more over time. After a few weeks, the accumulation of all those small skills really add up. You'll not only learn with less stress, but you'll learn a lot faster as well. If you want to translate information to knowledge a lot faster, research is now suggesting that you should be writing it down when you're learning it by hand with a pen or a pencil. In fact, a recent study found that students who took notes on pen and paper learn more than students who type notes into their laptop. Over a large test group, the participants taking notes with pencil and paper were more adept to remembering facts and sorting out complex ideas and you know synthesizing the information better. Researchers were saying that the physical act of going and touching pen to paper, going at a slower pace, was creating a stronger cognitive link to the material than just by merely typing it into a computer, which happens too quickly for the retention to actually take place. So writing is forcing you to confront the ideas head on, which causes them to stick with you over time much better. So instead of firing up your favorite music notation software, try grabbing a pencil and paper and write out your music and your chord changes, your tab for those next song parts on paper, and you're gonna find that the recall of the music is much better, and if you take that time to place pencil to paper, you're gonna find your retention and your ability to perform it is even going to improve. Being more positive and more optimistic helps you learn better and faster. Stressing out, you know, being all negative and carrying anxiety just reinforces being stuck in a mental rut. And it will often fill students with self-doubt and anxiety, both of which are just awful for learning. There's an old saying, if you say you can do something or you say you can't, you're right. <laughs> when you say you can't do something, it just precludes you from exploring real solutions and real thought patterns patterns that would help you come up with the solutions you need. It's well known that if we are to become more successful in anything, we need to work out an approach with an open mind and we need to be seeing tangible room for improvement every time we're doing our tasks. Think about it you know, in terms of learning to play solos. When you first begin improvising on guitar, it seems impossible. You're never going to be able to do this. But through an open mind and through trusting in your skills and working through all the tangible ideas like the scales and the arpeggios and seeing how everything links together, you know, understanding the geometrical shapes, the impro improvisation ideas, they just start to become easier. You start to be able to hear ideas, where to slide into notes, how to bend a string, how to do different techniques. And, you know, when you're positive and you're in a good state of mind with everything, you're going to encourage yourself mentally and 
then your skills and your abilities just get defined by your thoughts of the success you're having instead of having any kind of thoughts of failure, which tend to, of course, shut you down from learning. When we're learning new ideas, we're bound to encounter a topic that we'll have trouble wrapping our heads around. But to learn that topic faster, just try to understand how new topics will relate to something you've already learned. If you're learning a new scale or maybe a new chord, but you're having difficulty keeping it in your memory and memorizing it. Try relating it to some other guitar pattern that you already know. This type of practice is actually called associative learning and on guitar this works fantastic. The guitar is so geometrical. Almost everything we do on guitar relates to something else somehow musically. The scales relate to arpeggios because the arpeggios come from scales and the arpeggios can be related quite closely to pentatonics. Uh, a seventh chord arpeggio is one note away from a pentatonic. And both of those are related, of course, to chords and harmony and key centers. And you know, when a student understands the connections, they'll quickly begin realizing the association between all of them and their ability on guitar will increase much more rapidly with any new information that they get. Research scientists have dubbed the idea of teaching others what you know the protege effect. It happens when you take something that you've learned and put it into your own words and then you teach it to somebody else. And when you do this, you're not only demonstrating mastery over top of an idea, you're refining your own understanding of it. You know, plus, you know, being part of this is about distilling the information into clear ideas that someone else can easily understand. So you, you have to know that information quite well yourself. Think about it in this way, you know, the teacher has to reach competency with subject matter and the teacher's skills must be refined with material in order to relate the details in a simple but clear enough manner that the student fully understands what's going on. And that's why in a lot of cases, you know, the older siblings are generally smarter than the younger siblings as they're growing up because one of the jobs of the older sibling is passing along knowledge uh, that they receive as they're learning it themselves and in turn they get better at the topics uh, as they're explaining them to let's say their younger brother or sister so you know once you gain foundational skills on guitar soon as possible as soon as you know them to a good level start teaching them to others teach a strum pattern even if it's uh, something that you know well or maybe it's a chord shape maybe try teaching a melody or a small part of a scale because you know the act of teaching accelerates your own musical ability and polishes up your skills to a much higher level. Well, I hope you've gained some further insight into a few new study techniques that you can use to learn how to play guitar faster and easier with less stress and less anxiety. For more information on this topic, you can check out my ebook and audio program called Accelerating Your Learning Curve. It's available at creativeguitarstudio.com in the product section. There's lots more ideas covered in there that'll help you train yourself up to becoming a better all around learner. Anyway, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section below on this topic. Thanks again for your time and we'll catch up next week on my other channel for another episode of Guitar Blog Insider. Hello, I'm Andrew Watson, the founder of Creative Guitar Studio. Creative Guitar is a professional guitar school that I established 25 years ago after I graduated from Hollywood, California's Musicians Institute. After building a successful local school, I decided to branch out to having online courses as well. So back in 2008, I decided to take Creative Guitar onto the internet and offer my guitar methods through both YouTube and on my website. Since then, I've had over 150,000 guitar players from over 100 countries take part in my online courses. And the courses have only become better with the material having grown so much since then. Creative Guitar has become one of the best ways available for guitar players to reach their playing goals. So click on the Join Now button below and sign up for your free membership. That free membership will allow you to view all the free members area videos, download certain handouts, watch samples of each course, and also purchase individual products. From there, you can take things a step further by signing up for a basic or premium membership package for as little as $14.95 a month. So click on the Join Now button and start taking advantage of everything the website has to offer.